Hey guys, it's Maya. Good morning and welcome to my channel. Um, so today I just wanted to talk a little bit about something that I am embarking on. So I don't have a lot of videos, but if you've been watching some of my other videos, you know that I graduated from university recently. Um, I started a business while I was in university. It's a women's MMA gear and apparel business. I started it because one, I wanna be free. I'm in the unapologetic pursuit of freedom, both financial and just kind of freedom to be anywhere, work anywhere, work on something that I'm passionate about. Um, and I know a lot of people want that. I mean, almost the whole world wants that. I'm documenting my pursuit of that kind of life. So I go to the University of Delaware and the University of Delaware has an entrepreneurship program. I kind of got in contact with them after I had already started my business and I found out that they offer this summer program. It's a grant program, so you apply, you get a grant, you get to work on your business in the summer. Essentially, it's teaching you the process of customer discovery. And essentially customer discovery is identifying a problem, understanding that problem, and interviewing those customers to develop a solution. So instead of doing sort of what I did when I started my business, where I thought, okay, I have this problem, a couple other people I know have this problem, and now I'm just gonna kind of go for a solution and put it out there, you go through a lengthy process of trying to validate a problem and trying to understand if people are willing to pay to fix that pain. So I'm going through that. Today is the second day of this program. Uh, it's called Summer Founders. It's an accelerator program. For those of you who don't know what an accelerator program is, it's basically a program for people who have started businesses, are starting businesses, want to kind of get their idea from step box A to box B, and I'm really excited for it. But I think the summer is going to be challenging. I am already learning a lot. So today I presented about my business concept. So originally I had started Alchemize Fightwear, links below uh, to my business, my podcast, all of those things uh, to solve a problem in my own life, which was I couldn't find no gi gear. I trained Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. No gi is a kind of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu that fit my body. There were a couple female options, female cut options, but I didn't like how they were styled. It was like hot pink and unicorns. Since coronavirus, I've started to think about pivoting. Um, one, I think that my business was successful for what it was. I was selling gear, I sold gear to a lot of people. I still am selling gear. Um, I am so, so grateful for all of the things that I learned from selling gear. It's been an amazing experience. Um, but I think that I'm more interested in another problem, which is that female athletes and people in general want to thrive. I want to thrive. I want to thrive and be free in terms of my business and how I make money and in terms of my health and well-being and in terms of my community. I want it all and almost everyone wants it all right now. Um, but I think female athletes have unique needs in wanting it all, you know, because they're putting different demands on their body than most people are putting. And a lot of like the athletic information out there is for men and they don't take into consideration like female hormones or cycle health or fasting and what that does to the female body or I would love to try and compile that information and create a resource for women, um, for female athletes to thrive. I think that that's something that would give me so much purpose. That's something that would be so um, interesting for me. I guess I'm really interested in education and I have been for a long time. So that's kind of where I'm putting my focus now during the next three months. I'm sure this idea will evolve. I'm sure you're going to see it evolve. I'm sure you're going to see days where I'm like hype and days where I'm torn down, sort of. Um, I think that's just normal in life, but I also think that, especially when you're going through a program like this, um, it's just inevitable. But I'm going to take you guys on the journey with me because when I was starting Alchemize, what Alchemize has been for the past year, all I wanted was someone to tell me exactly how to do it. All I wanted was to see someone going through what I was going through. Um, and what I was going through in the beginning, like a year ago when I started things, or maybe even two years ago when I was like thinking about starting it and trying to plan out how, was I just wanna be free. I just wanna be free. I want to have control over my time. I don't know how to do it. I see all these people online that make it sound like it's like the easiest thing in the world to make hundreds of thousand dollars off of Shopify or Amazon FBA or whatever, Upwork. Um, and what is wrong with me that I can't do it? 
I, I felt like that. What is wrong with me that I, I don't know how to make this work for myself and everything that I try is not working. And then I found something that worked, a couple of things that worked. I mean, I teach English lessons online. Um, I love it. I'm learning a lot. It's great. I meet people from all over the world. If you want to take English lessons with me, shameless plug down below. Um, and I also started a small business, but I think I'm learning about the value of making maybe digital products that don't have inventory, that don't have the same environmental impact, that is a project that is more uh, kind of my speed, more something that is really interesting to me. I love making gear, but I'm not a designer. I think I know a lot about like cuts and fits and fabrics and stitching and that sort of thing and what it takes to make something that's very high quality, but I'm not a designer. So the graphics is something that is challenging for me um, and something I need help with. I wish I had recorded this past year. The ups and downs that I had experienced, the amount of nights that like, I cried myself to sleep because I was just so anxious and so overworked and so exhausted and felt so alone. Because when you're starting a business in university, when you're starting a business in general, and um, especially in your 20s or something, and you don't know anyone who's doing the same thing, since met students and people who are my age who are doing the same thing or did, have done the same thing. But when you're doing that in isolation, it just feels so challenging. It feels like no one understands you, even if people are supportive. Step two for today is to call up some people and do some customer discovery. So I'm going to be interviewing female athletes um, about what's important to them, about what they struggle with, about what they love, about why they're athletes, about what it brings to their life, all of these different questions, and trying to understand more. Um, I'm excited to take you on this journey with me of me pursuing ultimate freedom. I know so many of us want to live a life where we get to travel the world or live a life where we can move anywhere we want or live a life where we get to work on our own terms. Um, I will say that I think I'm wired for this. I am working and have worked for the past two years way harder than I've ever worked in my life, way harder than I would be working if I worked for someone else's company, without a doubt. And the toll that it takes on your mind is great. You're, you're never done. Um, but I feel so much joy and so much happiness from creating something. I feel so much purpose from doing something that's mine. I know I'm going to achieve it eventually, whether it's through YouTube or through a business or through teaching English or consulting or whatever, or maybe it's something that I can't even into it right now, but I know I'm going to achieve it and I can't wait for you guys to come along with me as I do. And I hope, I hope too that this can be a place where I can watch you guys succeed too and we can achieve things together because that having community and having other people that understand and other people that are on the same journey as you is so powerful, is so exciting, is so motivating and I want that for myself and I hope that I can create that with this channel. You're gonna watch me get better at making videos, you're gonna watch me get better at thinking, you're gonna watch me become a better person. Um, and I'm excited to start this journey.